So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides any visual input, I'm gonna call it a diagram question. And all that means is I go to the diagram first to make sure I understand what's going on there. And then I read all the information from there and utilize my understanding of the diagram in order to answer the question. So it looks like we have a graph, obviously a scatter plot. Um, our X axis is time. So we're between zero and eight minutes. Our Y axis is temperature in degrees Celsius. So again, we're from zero to 30 degrees. And I love to use this method called the pinpoint method, where let's say I circle this um, data point right there. Then that data point tells me that there's some connection between 12 degrees and three minutes. I'm not sure how the time works here quite yet, but at least I understand exactly how to read this graph at this point. So the question says, during a study, the temperature in degrees Celsius of the air in a chamber was recorded to the nearest integer at certain times. Okay. The scatter plot shows the recorded temperature Y in degrees Celsius of the air in the chamber X minutes after the start of the study. All right, so now it makes more sense. So three minutes after the start of the study, the temperature in the study was 12 degrees Celsius. What was the average rate of change in degrees Celsius per minute of the recorded temperature of the air in the chamber from X equals five to X equals seven? All right, so a couple of things here. One, the average rate of change is a statement that means slope, right? So that's the first thing you have to maybe make sure you're aware of, make sure you have written down in your notes. Average rate of change means slope. And if we have slope, right, I'll write it down here. Slope equals change in Y over change in X otherwise known as y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. We have our two x values provided for us. I'm gonna go with the larger minus the smaller. So in our denominator here, our x2 would be seven, our x1 would be five. Now, what is the temperature that goes along with those x values? So let's check our diagram. At x equals seven, the temperature is 24, right? Exactly. So then let's say I'd have a 24 here minus when X equals five, the temperature is 14. So I'd have 24 minus 14 as my numerator. Well, 24 minus 14, let's go up for space. 24 minus 14 is 10. Seven minus five is two. 10 divided by two is five. And therefore the average rate of change is five. And that is our answer.